Hey guys, what is up? Hopefully you're having a great, great day. Today we're gonna see if a leftist ever tells you Ben Shapiro is racist, make him watch this video. Okay, let's just see the video. I'm really intrigued, so let's just dive right into it. You stated that you didn't care about people's concern about the browning of America, which, in my opinion, is essentially not caring about the issue of illegal immigration. No, that's and, not right. And, well, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and, and, and yet, you support Israel's ethnostate by stating that Judaism must be preserved, since elements like this uh, uphold Jewish national identity and culture, which I don't mind. But the fact that you, know, you don't care about the demographic change in America is kind of concerning, because you know, we're all Americans here, right? Okay. And you know, I, the question is, do you want our nation to end up like a third world country, such as Brazil, or a disaster like Germany and Sweden right now? Okay, so Brazil's a second world country. Uh, technically, it's a developing country. It's not like a fully underdeveloped country uh, or a failed state. Then why, uh, is, why is there a far right candidate winning at the moment? I mean, if you want to argue Brazilian politics, I agree that Brazilian politics has been dominated by the, the far left, but I'm not sure that that's of tremendous interest. Let's talk about the first question. Okay, right. When I say I don't care about the browning of America, what I mean is I don't care about ethnicity. It doesn't make any difference to me. The only thing that makes a difference to me is the ideals of the people who are coming across the border. Now, when people say I am pro-illegal immigration, I do not know where in the hell they would possibly get that. This seems to, when people, repeat, when people repeatedly say stuff like this, like, and, and I see this meme all the time, oh, Shapiro cares about a Jewish ethnostate, but he, but he doesn't care about illegal immigration. I was further right than Donald Trump was in the last election cycle on illegal immigration. I opposed the 2006 amnesty deal. I opposed the 2010 amnesty deal. I have I've consistently been anti-illegal immigration. I supported the wall. This is just a lie. The idea that I'm pro-illegal immigration is not true in the slightest. What I have said is that we ought to deal with how to stop the influx of illegal immigration and then deal with the people who are here and separate off the two issues. And when it comes to the folks who are here illegally, what we should do is we should assess those folks in the same way we assess everybody else coming into the country. Are they going to add economically to the country and culturally to the country? Are they gonna make the country a better place? Or are they gonna make the country a worse place? And that involves assimilation. Now, as far as the idea of the Jewish ethnostate, I don't care very much about, at all actually, about Jewish ethnicity. Jewish ethnicity makes no difference to me. What does make a difference to me is Jewish ideals, because I care about Judeo-Christian ideals in the United States, and I care about Jewish ideals in Israel, which is why I don't care, and I'm very happy, that thousands, tens of thousands of Ethiopian Jews who are black were flown to Israel to become Israelis. I'm very happy that tens of thousands of Russian Jews who were Russian were flown from Russia to become Israelis. My wife is Moroccan. Right? She's a Moroccan Israeli. So this idea that, that it's, a, it's, it's about ethnicity as opposed to ideology or ideas is just not true. The, the amazing thing about Judaism, just like most other religions, is you can become one. Okay, I can't become a black man. There's no way for me to do it. Right? I can become a Christian. You could become a Jew. Right? This means that there are ideological systems that you can buy into that allow you entry. And I believe that the United States should operate the same way. You can become an American if you buy into Central American ideals, but I'm not gonna pretend that I care whether a, whether a bunch of people who are pro-America and pro-American ideals come from Cuba versus coming from Britain. I'm asking you about the browning of America phrase, because that's what you objected to. Okay, I said well, I don't care about the browning of America. The whole entire culture is changing at the moment, just so you know. I understand that culture is changing at the moment, but I do not think that culture and race are inseparable. I don't think that brown people are less capable of becoming American, or black people are less All capable right. of becoming American, or Jews, or anybody else. Okay, uh, there's uh, a lot to unpack here. Um, I kind of, I kind of with him on that, uh, because like if you, if you're like very, very much, uh, focusing on the ethnicity, the ethnicity of the people that you are, that they are in your country, and you say those, those people that cannot be American just because of their color, it's just racism and just stupid, and there is. There is no way, like, even, like, m maybe, maybe, in some cases, there is uh, colored people that are more capable, more, uh, uh, just say capable, than American, like, really, really, really Americans. So, it is very stupid to think that any race or any ethnicity is not suited to be in that country. And, of course, he is... <clears throat> 
against illegal immigration. And not only he, him, every person in the entire world, I think he is against illegal immigration immigration because it's it, it brings down the country that everybody is going to. So it is very bad to, to, to the country. Uh, you, you know, you, you maybe you want to do good for the people, okay? But no, this, this thing, this problem is very bad for the country. And as he said, he supported the wall, he supported uh, the thing, but he doesn't support that those people, that they are in illegally, they are not capable of doing stuff that they are like they want he wants to, to to make a system that that their life could be better and they can contribute to the country better but i don't think that the, that the the, the 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 solution or the thing that the, the, the lenses to to look the this subject at is like from a racist perspective or like like okay you, your race or your ethnicity is is this so you cannot contribute you 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 better go off, you know. You better get out of this country. This is stupid. Yeah, and uh, I think I'm gonna tell you something about the Israeli kind of thing. It's very stupid to send people from all over the world to Israel because you see there, there is like, it is somewhere safe, but not so safe. There is a lot of wars there. There's a lot of fights. There's a lot of fighting so why 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 okay why like if if i was a jew i i, I okay I, I would be good where i'm at but i don't want to like to go to a to a like even i think i think the, the why why the people going to israel because they think it's very important to the uh, the jews you know it's very important for the jew uh, system we got religion, you know, it's very uh, important, very great, so they can be there, okay? And uh, yeah, I, I can see that, but uh, like, come on, like maybe maybe when it's very peaceful, they send there, then send people there, but right now, no, no, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, but about the illegal immigration, I'm totally uh, with him, he is uh, very. Like, like, talking facts, okay? Talking facts. Anyway, this is the video for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one.